Many of the Wyoming Game and Fish Department wildlife habitat management areas are closing to human presence, or already have, for the season to provide protections for wildlife on their winter ranges. And the majority of WHMAs close or have restrictions for the winter annually. The Game and Fish maintains approximately 450,000 acres of land under deed, lease, or by agreement and continually strives to acquire new access areas. These areas include access to nearly 225 miles of streams, over 21,000 lake surface areas, and more than 148 miles of road right-of-ways. WHMAs provide a refuge for big game that must conserve energy and rely on their fat stores to survive Wyoming winters, and these seasonal closures help minimize stress-causing disturbances to wintering deer, elk, bighorn sheep, and other wildlife. Most areas will begin reopening April 30th. Open for business is the new Game and Fish Regional Office building in Cody, a $9.6 million investment in the Bighorn Basin, which will enable the department to better serve the community there. The new office includes a large ADA-compliant community meeting room for public meetings, hunter education courses, workshops, and other nonprofit events. The building also has an integrated aquatic invasive species check station to provide the public with a quick and efficient means to get watercraft inspected, as well as a wildlife check-in area, giving the public a convenient space for department personnel to take biological samples from harvested animals. Plus, there's more parking space for hunters and boaters that are pulling trailers. The Game and Fish Commission planned for and reserved money for the facility. No state of Wyoming general funds were utilized and no debt was incurred. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.